Marion and Shenandoah Valley are still looking for a spark in the Lignite grade. The Blue Devils were shut out by Nativity in Week 5. After falling behind 7-0, the Blue Devils lost the fumble that led to another Nativity score, and the Green Wave never looked back. Marion turned the ball over on their first two possessions against Schuylkill Haven and were also down 14-0. They came back, but their head coach Pat Morgan says the Hurricanes offense took over. Schuylkill Haven rushed for over 500 yards. Marion's Keith McCall had six catches for 109 yards. The bituminous grade is four teams that are oh so close to catching fire. The Hazleton area Cougars came back to win at Wall and Pawpack. Trailing by a point late in the fourth quarter, Jacob Hunsinger had a great kickoff return and then Will Garcia kicked what turned out to be the game-winning field goal from 34 yards out. Sparky Wolk sealed the win with an interception. At his quarterback position, Wolk went 20 of 29 for 269 yards and Hunsinger caught 11 passes and finished with 188 receiving yards. Monoy area won their third straight game, beating Hamburg 25-7. Danny Lawrence had 129 rushing yards and MJ Terry went for 127. Lawrence found Terry for a 37-yard touchdown pass as well. In the anthracite grade, our two hottest teams continue to burn bright. North Schuylkill beat rival Mount Carmel 33-21. Quarterback Jaden Leiby put up 259 rushing yards and had four touchdowns as the Spartans rushed for over 380 yards in the game. North Schuylkill opens up Schuylkill League Division 1 play Friday at unbeaten Jim Thorpe. No one has scored against our number one team yet this season. Tamaqua shut out Blue Mountain in their first Schuylkill League Division 1 game of the year. The Tamaqua defense limited the Eagles to 99 total yards. Quarterback Braden Knobloch was 13 of 18 for 220 one yards and three touchdowns. Things heat up with quite a few league games in week six. We'll see if that shakes things up in the mines.